What's going on, people? Todd Jackson with another video today. It's been lost. I said that. <laughs> okay. So today, I'm doing my little um, review for Doctor Who. Check it. I'm gonna give you the good. I'm gonna give you the bad. And I'm gonna give you my rating. And so, first, the good. So I enjoy this episode. I really, did. I really did love this episode. It was a nice introduction to number thirteen. You know, nice introduction to how she is, how she's acting, and everything. And I really did enjoy the dynamic she had with everyone, with Yaz, Graham, and Ryan. I really enjoyed that. And she, she was Joy really because she started off great. Like, like she's as this episode is how the woman who fell to earth. And I really did love that. And I love everyone in this. Like, I enjoy Yas's character. I enjoyed the character, yeah, her. I enjoyed Ryan. He's awesome. Graham, I'm enjoying him. I have to see a little bit more before I fully, you know, rank him in particular. But I like him so far. I like them all so far. Um... Chris Chimble, the man who wrote this episode, he he's doing a good job so far. I mean, he really is. He really is. Um, what was I gonna say? Because I have a lot of positives as I start. Um, I enjoyed the story. I did for what it was. I enjoyed it. Is it my favorite like introduction of the Doctor episode? No. It's not, but it is in my top five, hundred percent. The big bad in this episode, so to speak, nasty self. I <laughs> that's all I can really say. He was nasty. He was gross, and I did not appreciate how nasty and gross he was. But I thought he was pretty interesting. You know, no, the stakes was high. I can say that the stakes was high. How Joey Ridicker's doctor was acting really reminded me of 10th, 11th, and 12th with the little bit of fourth doctor. And I really did enjoy it. I love her charming personality. Her new outfit, I like it. She has pockets. I know there's women out there who has pants but don't have pockets. Jody, Jody Ridicker's doctor, number 13. Has pockets in her jacket, and I think her suspenders as well. So, just so you know, if you're a woman and your pants do not have pockets, just wear suspenders. <laughs> That's it. Or wear that big old jacket she has, which I love, by the way. Um, I I thought it was interesting how she made her own song screwdriver because usually it'd be the TARDIS who makes it. You know, that's what um, I hope, I think that's what they did for 9th and 10th had that screwdriver as well. But I think it just, it got upgraded throughout 10th's venture as a doctor. And for 11th, the TARDIS created a new Sonic for him. And that Sonic went on to Capaldi's. Then Capaldi did the Sonic Shades. And then the TARDIS made his official um, 12th Doctor Sonic screwdriver. Which deserved more, you know. I feel like that song too. That was very good, very awesome. I missed it a lot. I have it in my room. I was keeping it. Um, keeping it. I own it. Sorry, I own it. I throughout the whole episode, I was just using it all. Like your song, like better be as good as this one. I can't fully rate. Jodie's Sonic yet, but I do like how she built it herself. The Taurus didn't build it for her. She built it herself. Actually, on a separate note, where the hell is the Taurus? Can, can, can I ask that? Because, like, it's like you know, I thought we were going to see the Taurus interior in episode one at the end, but we didn't. So, episode two, I need the theme song. They didn't show it in this episode. And I really need the Taurus interior. I need both, okay, in episode two. If I don't, I'm going to be triggered. Cause people say that they will reveal the theme song in episode two to build hype, and I'm happy for that. 
If so, two though. I'm just saying, like, y'all, I'm just saying, I better freaking see something from that TARDIS, okay? I know how the outside looks like, I want to see the inside. <laughs> yeah, what What else? I have one more thing. Oh, um, there's a certain point in the episode that the Doctor did that I did not see coming at all. I'm not going to say it, this is a non-spoiler review. All, all my Doctor Who reviews will, except my... Because at the end of the series 11, I'm going to do one big old huge spoiler review for the entire season. But that will be at the end of the season. So, just say no. Um, that's really, that's really it. That That's that's really it. I do love everyone so far. I'm enjoying their dynamic, their characters. I'm enjoying number 13 so far. She's very special. <laughs> Jodie would have marry me. Um... <laughs> But now we are going off to the bad. So, remember when I said it's one of my favorite introductions of the Doctor episode? It's not. I thought it was decent. It felt a little slow paced at times. I know this is 10. Sorry, sorry, that was my oven. I'm sorry. I, I'm I'm doing this in the kitchen because this, um the the sound won't freaking sound like an echo. Hopefully, so yeah. Um, it was it felt slow at times. I know it's ten episodes this season. Each episode's fifty episodes. I kind of wish it just went with twelve episodes. And just the regular run time for them instead. But it's fine. It's fine. I can deal with it 100%. I can deal with it 100%. But now that I didn't like... I know I mentioned the theme song to Taurus already. How we didn't see either in this episode. But... Nothing I didn't like... What was it? What was it? What was it? I'm sorry. I'm trying to think. Because I don't have a lot of bad things about it. I don't. I think I have like one or two more points, and and that's it. But oh yeah, the guy, um, the main villain, nasty. That's all I gotta say. So I'm not. I'm not gonna spoil it. This is a non-spoiler review. But oh my god, that was nasty. That was legit freaking nasty. Uh, what he has on his face, I think it's nasty. That's all I gotta say. That's all I gotta say. Another thing I didn't like about it was overall, the episode was good. Slow pace at times, yes, but it was good. Chris Chimbel, Chimb, no, wrote this. Um, some people say if for like get mad at me, I did not watch Torchwood. I had no interest in it. Really, cause, cause the only character I would have liked would be Jack. I'm sorry, that's it, and I want like all the characters, or at least half of them. So, I mean, I'm not really a big Torchwood fan. Torchwood was good for its time, and to me, people still hold up today. Like, I'm not going freaking go on a rant like like oh well, Torchwood was terrible. It wasn't terrible. I'm I'm not gonna say it was because it wasn't. It, it it's a good show. It's just it's just it was just wasn't for me. So specifically, okay, <laughs> it just wasn't for me. And um, I just wanted this to feel like a regular Doctor Who episode. But you know, it, it we had changes, we had changes. You know, because that's what Doctor Who always does. Even though from ninth to tenth, there was barely any changes, and from a limited twelve. There was barely any changes, but still, but still, um, at times, and I'm sorry if I offend anyone in the UK. I'm very sorry. At times, I can barely hear what the character what the characters say because how they talk is not very clear to me. It's like one or two words in a sentence doesn't like. Like, I would need captions to, like, see what they were saying. Because I'm not from the UK. I'm from the USA. And so, I 
they have those UK accents, you know? And it was a little hard to hear. Don't get me wrong, like, I love, I love people in the UK. I love British people. I love all of them. They're freaking amazing. I love them all. I'm, like, friends with a the few. They're so awesome, but it's, it's just, like, a little hard to understand them at times, you know? It's just a little hard to understand some accents at times. Not all the time, definitely. Definitely not all the time, but at times, it's just hard, you know? But, but yeah, that's all I really have to say about this episode. It was good. It was a nice little introduction. I can't wait for episode two where I can fully judge um the the characters, fully rake them and stuff. I like this episode. I'm going to give it a 8 out of 10. It was really good. I did enjoy it. It's not my favorite Doctor introduction. That would be 11th um, first episode. That was That's definitely my favorite. But this one was good. It, it was all right. It, it was fine. It was just fine. I can't wait for next week. But yeah, stay tuned. Doctor Who reviews every single week. You already know. And I gotta figure out this schedule. Because I will either upload these reviews Sunday or Monday. I will not... Tuesday through Saturday, I will not upload the Doctor Who review. I will not. Well, no, I won't. I won't. It, it will be either Sunday or Monday. It, it will. It will. But I did hope you enjoyed this episode. Comment down below how you felt about this episode. Did you enjoy it? Um, what parts did you enjoy? What parts did you not? Comment down below. Like this video if you did enjoy. Uh, subscribe for future videos. I will make a new Doctor Who video every week. I also do Andy Mac videos, which as I'm recording this, is tomorrow. So, oh yeah. And that's all I gotta say. Until next time, peoples. Peace.